I was, I was scared, I won't lie about it. You know, first couple of times I went into these rooms, it was like, I was all tense and trying to do what we gotta do and get out. Next thing you know, it's just completely overflowed the hospital and it's, that's my job now, COVID. For over an exceeding two years, it's like fighting an invisible enemy. Each day brings new challenges as it relates to this pandemic. It's been overly difficult recently. Not only do we have a larger influx of patients coming in now, but our team members are also getting sick. It's challenging. It's also heartbreaking to see family members, patients suffering like this. We, we also grieve at work. All of this while we still continue to do our best. I always compared it to a lot of uh, crazy emergencies and all types of you know, events that have happened around the country and the world and, and traumatic events that are about, you know, they, they happen in a day's time, you know, where this pandemic is now going on for two straight years. It's like one thing after another, and you, once you battle one thing and you think that's done and out of the way, then something else pops in. You're so broken, you're torn to pieces, but throughout all of this, I just remain devoted to my calling. It's also tough for the team members, like when they have their family that's sick, they have to worry about their family, they have to worry about, you know, if their kids can, can go to school this week and what they're gonna do for childcare. So now there's that additional stress of, you know, what the world and COVID is bringing into their lives and it's making it hard for them at work too. Vaccines and, and boosters and all of that, everyone has their preferences and we understand. Whoever comes up and ends up in these hospitals, we're gonna take care of you either way. What we do is we try to take care of everybody as our own. All the hardships that we've been through lately, it's been amazing to see everybody really band together. We're just in unfamiliar territory, unfamiliar rules, but we just had to keep going. For everybody out there on the front lines, from the doctors, the nurses, respiratory, a lot of people who I don't mention, but there's a lot of people on these front lines that you might not have heard of. Show up, take a deep breath, not get frustrated, not get worried about too much and just do your job one step at a time because you all do it so well and when they put it all together each team a beautiful thing can happen and people could get better and you know you could go home and feel proud about it and that's what it's all about you know we're affected in different ways but those of you on the front lines who do take care of these COVID patients every single day thank you we appreciate you and hopefully times will get better soon together we will continue to support each other and collectively we will overcome the battles and the ravages imposed upon us by this pandemic.